Hello friends, now I show you OCAJP example demo 2. This is a different model. How you are enlightened just to think of by these questions. Here, five components are given. Actually, in order to develop a Java program, you require all those five components. That is, from the point of typing program to getting result. Five components play a vital role. Because of that, then uh, you get the result. Okay, here some order is given. That is, one is class loader, interpreter, uh, bytecode verifier, Java, means Java compiler, text editor. Now, if you know the concept, you should know the correct order. If you do not know, generally, most students never focus on that, just they read once. They never incorporate the, uh, the concept in the brain. Now, this is the opportunity, just a matter of five minutes maximum. You can incorporate the concept. For the first time, you will have an opportunity to focus on this point. In an earlier example, first example also, you got an opportunity uh, to focus on a particular thing which you generally treat very routine. This is also like that. Now, we see which is the order. Actually, what is the process? First, I explain. Thereafter, you can easily understand the order. First one is whenever you want to develop a program, first to type it, type it, correct it, copy, paste, etc., etc., and all that you do on the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. For that, what you require, you require text editor. Without text editor, you cannot do that. Text editor, uh, which is the place here, fifth one is the place. Uh, after complete typing of the program, editing, etc., etc., and all that, then uh, it should be, it is a text, then it should be compiled. If it is compiled and all that, now what you require? Java compiler you require. That is represented as Java, Java means Java compiler. Java compiler, this program, dot Java program. This is Java program name demo, demo to dot Java program. Now, then the next component is Java compiler transforms Java demo to dot Java program as this is lower case then demo to dot class dot class program demo to dot class program that means this is a byte code this consists of not machine code byte code means intermediate code next to fourth one thereafter whenever byte code byte code program is ready, then one component is there, that is class loader. Class loader is a class and, uh, and it loads the class. Until unless it loads the class to the interpreter, interpreter cannot work. So, this is a class loader is the next one. Uh, it loads the class. Thereafter, byte code verifier. Byte code verifier. You see that which which file is uh, loaded, bytecode file is loaded. So, before interpretation started, <coughs> what is a bytecode verifier must verify that for the security reason. Whatever code comes and all that, it won't uh, be interpreted. Before that, it will like a security guard. Everything bytecode verifier verifies that. Thereafter, thereafter final state that is interpreter. Interpreter interprets the byte code, byte code into mission code. Mission code is the language of the processor. Then processor can understand that. It is totally in binary. Processor can understand that and execute it as a result of that. Whatever result you are expecting, that you get. This is the way, just five minutes if you study that, if you read that also, you take more time. But by understanding this, you master this concept, is restudy, you will be in a position to, because there are many components, then it is very difficult to remember that. In this way, if you focus on all that, you never forget, unforgettable experience you get. Now, what is the, what is the correct order? 5, 4, 1, 3, 2. Where is that? D, option D, that is correct. Okay. Once again, I explain to you because the very, very core concept. 
first you type your program using text editor text editor is uh, the fifth one once the text editor is over your program is correct then java java compiler java compiler uh, compiles that as a result of that a dot java program is transformed by dot class program this consists of byte codes byte codes that is a file separate file and uh, that should be loaded for that purpose class loader one class is there that loads it to the interpreter okay that uh, loading is over that is the one <coughs> thereafter simply whatever is loaded interpreter won't interpret it so because of security reasons and all that it should be checked for that purpose bytecode verifier is there that uh, verifies it is like a security guard thereafter thereafter java interpreter interprets it interprets it by that by that it is transformed into machine code and the processor can understand that and process it as a result of that you get result get result and one more very important point you have to understand is jvm java virtual machine is there java virtual machine uh, these 1 2 3 means class loader interpreter and bytecode verifier are the components of jvm that point also you have to understand so here okay whatever may be the my explanation here i am giving you the detailed explanation you go through this go through this once again don't take anything lightly one time only lap one time matter of 5 minutes or 10 minutes that is enough to master this so in this way if you focus on around 500 concepts 100% you will become master who can beat out that 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 is the way just 100 days year mark if you can spend more time and all that within 2 uh, months also can finish 